soft field operations can be quite fun, but they do come with a different set of challenges than a hard surface runway. Let's take a look at some of those differences with this grass strip on an island in the middle of a river. One difference for this Cessna 172, 10 degrees of flap will be used. The second difference, the yoke will be held all the way back. This does two things. It reduces the weight on the nose gear and also increases the ground clearance from the bottom of the propeller blade with the ground. It will take more power than normal to make the airplane taxi in grass. There's more drag. When taxiing, momentum should be maintained and brake use kept to a minimum. Power should be applied slowly as the aircraft's speed increases to prevent pulling debris into the propeller and damaging the propeller blade. Full back pressure will be applied and maintained until the nose lifts off the ground and then the nose or the top of the glare shield can be held on the horizon. At this point, back pressure should be released some in the aircraft held in ground effect. In ground effect, the airplane can accelerate more quickly than it can on grass. When an airplane's in ground effect, there's less induced drag on that airplane. So the closer the wing is to the ground while it's flying, the less induced drag, the higher, the more induced drag. The goal here is to stay within one wing span width of the ground. Flight inside of ground effect will be continued until reaching VX or VY. Trees off the end of the runway are definitely an obstacle, so when 60 knots, which is VX, is reached, a climb will be initiated and 60 knots will be maintained. Once the obstacle is cleared, plus a little bit of wiggle room, pitch the nose down to maintain VY and then retract the flaps. Without an obstacle, stay in ground effect until VY, which is 79 knots, and then climb. Once at a safe altitude, flaps can be retracted. Just like a normal takeoff, be sure to apply aileron into the wind. The crosswind could try to tip the airplane over if aileron into the wind is not used. Be sure to keep the airplane in ground effect. Don't try to make the airplane fly out of ground effect too soon. Stay in ground effect till VX or VY, or this could happen. A soft field landing is very similar to a normal approach and landing. The runway is being approached at 65 knots. The throttle is brought to idle, the aircraft is flown in ground effect, and touchdown should be made as gently as possible while holding the nose off the ground with back pressure. Once the nose wheel is gently lowered to the ground as airspeed decreases, back pressure needs to be increased to once again help increase the ground clearance of the propeller. Little to no braking should be used as the grass will help slow the airplane down quite rapidly. The grass field in use is 7-1 November, and there you go, soft field takeoff and landings in under three minutes. If you would like more information on the topics discussed in this video, please consult the FAA's Airplane Flying Handbook, link in the description below.